there are two main types of people from Asia that I we can find in Australia. The first type is our uh, people who like it's usually young people or uh, they have a so-called working holiday visa. They go to Australia for a year, they work a bit, um, earn some money, go to different places, or go to maybe Sydney, Melbourne, and like Adelaide, like just go to see around, like having fun in Australia. Those kind of young people we usually find near the city center because that's where most of the tourist attractions are. And yeah, this kind of people is kind of harder to teach because they are not very very stable living in a certain area they just come and go but um yeah these kind of people are also very interested in learning new things about the church and the second type of people are families yeah which is um the people that we are looking for and these kind of people we usually find in certain specific like uh, areas, like not in the city center but uh, suburbs, and um, like compared to Mandarin speaking to Cantonese speaking, like I would say, like the Mandarin speaking population is generally larger, uh, in all areas. Uh, it's like. I think maybe one fifth of the population, uh, or one one uh, out of seven people that we meet are Canon speaking, and uh, the others are all Mandarin speaking. Um, the Mandarin speaking people are usually from mainland China, but a small part of them also from Malaysia or from Taiwan, and. Um, some of them are students and some of them are families and they like most of them come to Australia to study and the families are usually the students that uh, stay and got married and things like that and um, for the memory Mandarin population they are generally uh, quite interested in the gospel because um they they haven't uh, learned too much about it uh, back in mainland China China because they didn't have a chance and they are very willing to listen to what you have to say and for the Cantonese population um, they are most of them are from Hong Kong and a small part of them are from either Singapore or Malaysia and these people are usually um, immigrants like from Hong Kong directly to uh, Australia so they are generally um, richer they are generally uh, have a more busy schedule of life because of their jobs and things like that and there's a small part of them also are also students and generally speaking, the Cantonese people are more concerned about um, how to earn a living than the gospel. And they, because most of them are from Hong Kong, so they have a certain knowledge about uh, who Jesus Christ is or what Christianity is about. So they would be uh, less interested in the gospel than the Mandarin population.